G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Ravenhurst with Bruce Bruce, who does some really weird poses. Uh, if I wait around, he kind of does this, why are you making me crouch and stand, sort of, what are you doing, pose. Although that's sort of a weird pose too, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just noticed when I was getting the screenshot for the thumbnail, he just does these weird things every now and then. Like, what is he doing? Why are you... You're a weird dude, Bruce. There, there we go. You're a weird dude, Bruce Bruce. Um, thanks so much, Triple Stroke Survivor, for... I think that's the third week in a row you've done that. <laughs> Thank you very much for the super chat little My Hero thing. Um, yeah, so today is Horde Day, and I was prepping like I was about to go on holiday and trying to pack everything that I needed to bring with me. Um... How have they gone? Alright, that's still being made. Those are still being made, but not too much longer. 180 steel spi metal spikes, that's decent. The 13 landmines are going to be really interesting to place. I think... I think I might place them on the side of the tavern that has the mountain almost immediately on it, or the side that used to have the car. Because that's the side that I never drive along, and almost never walk along, so it's the one I'm least likely to die upon. I haven't unlocked Iron Fire Axe crafting. Oh, you're kidding me. No! No, 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 no! I made the things and I can't make the thing. Ah, That's so irritating. Um. Poop. Uh, yeah, I'm going back to the... I'm going back to the tavern. I will not be, uh, hanging around here. This is... This place is not ready. <laughs> at all. Uh... It needs a lot done to it before it is ready to handle a Horde Knight. So, the Horde Knight will definitely be dealt with at the, at the tavern. Um, well, if I can't make a proper axe, I'm just going to have to make terrible axes. Um, build Bruce a watchtower at the tavern. I'm a little scared Bruce won't make it through the spikes. So I'm going to leave Bruce Bruce here. Um, my hope is that once I'm ready to make this place my horde base, I'll have Bruce... I'll have some friends for Bruce Bruce. Um, that, that's my hope. Uh, what else? I, I suppose I, let's just eat and drink while I'm thinking. So I need to do that anyway. Oh, a bit low on the old drinkies. Uh, might need to make a couple more. I want to make sure I've got enough food and drink to take with me. I might bring... Ah, oh, I mean the bacon's fine. It does the trick. Oh, that could bring these stews. Let's bring the stews. Horde night's a good night to use the stew. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how the... I don't know how the AI path through... How the, like... The friendly NPCs path through spikes and it really worries me. Bruce Bruce was hard to find and find at a time I had the money to hire him. <laughs> so I really don't want to lose him. He's special. Alright, that's enough food for now. Bring those anyway. Oh, and I've got... Oh, I'll bring it anyway. Okay. Thanks, Blitzy. Calm down. What do I need at... Moe's Tavern. I've got the bricks to repair the walls. 
Um, I've got the spikes to lay down. I've got the mines to lay down. I've got repair kits for my crossbow, bow, etc. I haven't picked up my bolts yet, but I've got some bolts and some ammo and some a low level crossbow and a moderate level bow at the tavern. I need to have stuff to use to occupy myself until the Horde Night if I end up getting the base set up quickly, uh, which was going to be chopping down trees, but since I can't make the axe without a skill point, might actually end up being mining. So I wonder if I can make an iron pickaxe relatively quickly and bring that with me. Maybe that's a better option. Uh, I wear the increased experience uh, glasses all the time. I, I constantly wear nerd glasses. Because um, I like... I like that buff more than the other buffs. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'll do. So I just need to get... Have I got any more? Yeah, I do. Grab that. Make a pick. What do I need for the sturdy handle? Leather and twine. Leather, twine. Yeah, I... Triple Strike Survivor, I'm not sure, um... I was actually thinking about this over the weekend. I don't know when I would consider myself, um... done with Ravenhurst. I don't really have an end point in mind. <laughs> I just kind of... I didn't even think about it when I started. I guess, to be honest, I don't really think about end points with, um, with Seven Days to Die as a general rule. Which is weird, because I always try and think about the end point in something like Space Engineers. Um, any of these work for the crossbow? Don't really want to scope on my crossbow. Although, if I was going to put a scope on it, it would be the two times. Uh, can I put a bipod on the crossbow? Let's see if it lets me put a bipod on the crossbow. Yep. Cool. What's this got on it? Arrow rest. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't have an end point. I don't think I need to worry about that just yet. Like, I don't think I'm at the point where I need to worry about end points. Uh, I think I'm still so early on in my journey that it's going to be a while. Um, modify the better pick. Put on the hotbar. So I'm thinking I'll collect iron over there if I've got spare time after prepping. Hopefully this crossbow will last me most of the Horde Knight. I think that's what I want to use as my primary weapon. Um, so, we've got something to occupy myself when I'm done. I've got a fair amount of ammo for my guns, for my crossbow... Um, don't have much in the way of arrows, but I've got 300 arrows over there. Uh, do I have more arrows here? Yes, I'll bring those. Um, got building materials, got spikes. I've got all the iron bars I can make. Unless I've... Got enough over here. More. Uh, 
Wait, 22 seconds and we can get a few more. Um, yeah, there's, there's a long way to go. Like, there's, I still haven't gotten steel, I still haven't gotten a motorbike, I still haven't gotten a car, I still haven't gotten the, um, yeah, there's, there's a heap of stuff that I can still get in this. So I'm, I'm not remotely at end game yet, so I'm not really thinking about that side of things too much. Let's bring those, so I've got water. And chuck that away. Oh, actually, that... Does that only use one per? Oh, it's only one. Cool. Alright, I'm waking up another ten. Uh, I can't put my axe together. I didn't have this... I didn't actually put the skill point into it. Which I'm regretting. Uh, did I make more fuel? Thought I made more fuel. Uh, today is horde night, so, uh, it is... Today is fighting day. That's the plan. <laughs> the plan is to try and get Moe's Tavern to survive another horde night. Alright, off we go. Over to Moe's. Refill the bike. And Bruce Bruce can remain here, hopefully safe. I'm hoping that uh, I can just gradually acc accumulate enough steel that I might be able to build a motorbike chassis. Um, someone was bringing up the thought that I might actually be able to build a... I can build a crucible. Huh. Well, there's something to do after the Horde Knight. I actually have the recipe for Crucible, because I unlocked it when I did my whole beeline intel intellect when I started out. Looks like a motorbike's on the menu for this coming week. <laughs> I... Ooh. That even more makes me want to dig up iron. Uh... I... Bruce Bruce might increase my game stage. If Bruce Bruce increases my game stage, I'm quite okay with that. That seems fair. Bruce Bruce is quite a decent defender and one that I don't have to pay for ammunition for, so... On those grounds, I think it's quite reasonable that Bruce Bruce increases my game stage. I think it'd I think it'd almost be broken if he didn't. Um So my hope is Come on cat. My, sorry, obviously distracted by the mountain lion. Um, my hope is that after the Horde night, I'll be able to go and make a motorbike, which will be really nice because I'll be able to get around much faster. Um, hopefully also travel further with less fuel use because I'm moving faster. Um, with that done, I'd really like to start working on my proper defenses around the base, like making Bruce Bruce a little tower for him to stay up in, and probably if I get around to it, doing some of the digging of the trench, there's another one. I really can't kill these guys with the crossbow, which sucks. Especially when they stop moving. Unexpectedly. Uh, 
I don't know why it stopped. What the? It's running off. What's it doing? Hey cat, get back here. Also, reload the gun. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping like I can build up a bit of a bit of my base and get my maybe my farming going, that sort of stuff. I think I think a few people have said that my farming will be a bit of a oh jeez, there's a wolf. Will be a bit of a struggle until I get um, the living off the land higher leveled. Uh, I don't think you can give Bruce different weapons. I don't see any way I can interact with his inventory and change his weaponry. Uh, I think he just has what he has when you get him. I would like to find another Nurse Ratchet, because I feel sad that my first Nurse Ratchet died. Although I didn't really hire her, she was just outside. Hanging around the tavern. So I, I think, I think, yeah, better better vehicle is step one. Step two will be building the space for Bruce. And then I'd also like to potentially start looting the Isaiah. My slight concern for this Horde Knight is that I'm going to end up with the zombies that go boom. And my base is not going to remain standing. Um, that's my big concern for today. Because there are zombies that go boom. And I'm really quite worried that that's going <laughs> to... That's going to be the end of Moe's Tavern and me. But I guess we will see. I really wish I'd realised that I could build the Crucible before. I was stuck in my Alpha 18 version of this where you have to find the Crucible. I didn't realise I could craft it. Because then I would have made a motorbike already and we wouldn't have to make this slow journey. Yes, trying to set up Bruce Bruce with Nurse Br Nurse Ratchet. I almost said Nurse Bratchet. <sighs> yes, don't really like the new castle being gone. That would be sad. I don't want the new base to get damaged at all. At least until I'm ready for it. Which I... I've I've talked about this ad nauseum, the whole it's it's too um It's a bit it's a bit gamey and a bit cheesy to have two bases and to operate them separately for Horde Night. Blah 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 blah. But I wanna make my base pretty and that takes time and so I can't <laughs> I can't think of another way around it. Um, I don't, I don't want to set up a new base closer because I've already got this one. Uh, yes, Game Master, please don't jinx the stream like last time. We actually got through an entire week last week without a single spammer. Now that's jinxing it. But we did, like last week there was not a single spam bot. Uh, which was quite unusual. And quite pleasing. I was hoping that YouTube did something to make them less likely, but I'm... I'm not willing to believe that until I see it for 
several weeks. Predicting how many times I'll get jump scares on a horde night. Uh, that'll depend on how many jumping zombies I get. Um, just as a small side, Desert Fox, generally speaking, I try and notice everything in chat, but I'm not particularly fond of people demanding I notice them. Um, so that usually has the opposite effect. I'm one of these contrarian types. Tell me to do something, and I'll usually do the opposite. Um, should Bruce Bruce have a name change? No, Bruce Bruce... I mean, if I could actually properly change Bruce's name to Bruce Bruce, I would totally change his name to Bruce Bruce. I still don't know what situation it was where he showed up as Bruce Bruce. <laughs> I'll ignore you good and proper, Rush. I'll ignore you good and proper and your awesome spaceship designs. Yes, make bad puns. Bad puns <laughs> are a good way to get your comments read out. <laughs> uh. Oh, what was I thinking about? There was something I was wanting to talk about. Oh, it's gone. I don't know what the... Hmm, hopefully it'll come to mind later. There's something I was wanting to talk about with relation to Moe's and building my base here. That I was thinking about just before I started the stream, and it is already gone. Let's stick the bike over here out of the way of any explodey zombies. Uh, actually, let's save the crossbow for the night. Oh, that was the thing I was wanting to talk about. Um, so, in theory, if I made the change correctly. Uh, we should have a whole lot of loot bags in the morning. Um, there's... What the? Oh dear. Because my sleeping bag's not here, there's sleepers here. Uh, I need to pick up my bedroll, and I need to put it back down. Ow! What the? Where were you? How did I not see you? So that, that's there's scream number one. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. In an awkward spot. Ow! What the? Okay. Is there any more? Yep. Any more of you? Hello? 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 Okay, seems like it's alright. Coast is clear. Okay, so, prep for the Horde Knight. Ah uh, yeah, the crawl is a Alpha 20 thing, I think. Um, prep for tonight. Let's start by digging a hole in the roof. Oh dear. Okay, this is slightly tougher than I was hoping it would be. Hey, Jason. Uh. Hmm. 
So, obviously making a hole in here so I can shoot down to the zombies that are going to hang around and that's on top of it. Okay, that's annoying. Probably should have dug from the bottom up rather than top down. Oh well. It's done now. So my hope is that this Horde Knight I can actually shoot into the ones that are in underneath me rather than just standing on the walls and waiting for them to come back outside after they've smashed apart my walls. I got my... No, let me go grab my cobblestone. If I... There's, there was something in one of the old mods I used to play in Alpha 16 which was really quite handy in situations like this or in situations where you needed to quickly clear out uh, an area that you were going to dig a hole in, that sort of thing, um, which was Miner's Dynamite. I kind of wish that one of these newer mods had brought that, al like, that a version of Ravenhurst had brought that along with it. Because Miner's Dynamite was fantastic. When you needed to clear a large um, thing like my planned moat, it was great being able to use it. Uh, I have the recipe for an auger, but augers, if I recall correctly, required steel, which I don't have much of, but may do in the future. Um. So this is my best option. Uh, I think I'll just try and make like a six block sized hole for now. Oh yeah, so the, the bit I was talking about in terms of placing down the mines was putting them on this side. Which may not be the best spot, but... Oh, actually, you know what, it's probably best if I do place them on this side. The side with the ladder and just make sure that it's perfectly clear in the path in front of the ladder, because then I know where the clear part is, and place them around this side. Just hope I remember. Otherwise, I'm going to have a very sore toe. And leg. Yeah, I don't have much fuel as well, Zuriel. That is a good point. Did not realise I was standing on that. And, oh, no, I can't get it back up. Well, I have a hover light, that's nice. Yeah, I imagine the auger's quite good at mining oil shell, because oil shell takes a lot of hits, and there's not a lot of... Like, there's not a lot of strength to the stuff around the oil shell. But, yeah. That is a plan for the future, not for now. For now, I am just doing what I can with this stuff. Yes, mines is in the explodey kind. I have land mines. I am going to use them this Horde Knight, which is good. <laughs> which is actually the first Horde Knight I've ever really used landmines. Like, ever playing Seven Days to Die. Because for so long I was playing with Capac that um, you can understand why we wouldn't have been keen on either of us using landmines. Um, the risk of one of us blowing the other up was way too high. So... Yeah, I've, I've never used landmines as a Horde Knight defense in Seven Days to Die. So this is something new for me, which is kind of cool.
Yes, augers are very loud. They attract a lot of unwanted attention. So they do have some significant downsides. And as I get better with mining, the difference I've always found between a good pickaxe and an auger diminishes. Oh, Kabak didn't shy away from explosives in general, just a specific type of explosive. <laughs> he still enjoyed using his pipe bombs and his molotovs and whatever else. Actually, that's a fair point, Crazy Canuck. I don't know the blast radius of the mines, so I'm just going to have to chance it that I hopefully do it right, but there's a very good chance I won't. Uh, and that, as you say, I will set them off in a string. If that happens, <laughs> well, it happens. And we learn something. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have time to do any mining after digging this hole in the roof. Breaking stuff over here. Hello? Thought I heard a zombie breaking stuff. Huh. Weird. So I've still got a heap of wooden spikes under the, like, inside the base, which I didn't expect. Largely because I didn't remember it. But I kind of expected at the start of last Horde Night, that, as with the previous ones, all the internal spikes would be gone. I think with me having this space to stand on and shoot from, uh, it's more likely that there'll be nothing left inside. I'm going with the long shot high payout. He falls off the roof and in a panic backing away from a zombie dog steps on a kablamo. Oh no! No, I can see that happening, Naomi. I can so see that happening. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring any iron to upgrade the spikes. I brought iron spikes themselves. Um, so I've brought actual iron spikes, which I'm just going to place down. Um, the, the spikes that are already down there, well, they're just gonna stay the ones they are. I kind of forgot to bring extra iron bars to upgrade the existing ones. I really should have. But I just didn't think about it. Is that the big chunky dude? Mr. Jiggle Physics? Yes, that is Mr. Jiggle Physics. Alright. That should do me fine for a little shooting gallery. Now, how many of these bars do I have left? Alright, if I... Uh, let's not use those, let's use the wooden ones. So what I was thinking is, I should maybe have enough to create a little bit of a roof over the shooting gallery bit, just to slow down any um, horrible birds from hitting me straight away. I mean, I could even, with a bit of timber, make this into a, make these into walls, and then just put a roof of uh, iron bars and maybe 
even make a door? Can I make a door on one of these? Or do I need a proper thing to make a door? Uh, secure wood door. Okay. I just need some nails. Well, that's not going to happen. I didn't leave any nails here. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's a thing. Oh. I'll just have to make do with what I got. I think the type of mine has an impact on how large the radius is. My feeling is the tin landmines are the smallest with the smallest explosion. They'll do the least damage and have the least radius as well. Um, and will likely not do a whole lot of damage to everything around it. I forgot to bring a hammer. All that prep, and I didn't bring a hammer to build stuff. Arr, and repair stuff. Although I expect I need nails for a lot of this repair anyway. so annoying. Needs mortar. Ah, that can be repaired to good. Alright, start placing the spikes. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to clear out a few of the wooden spikes down here, just so that I can maximise what's inside the base, as I think that's where the spikes are going to be the most useful. Okay, that looks like that's all I can do. Because we know the zombies are going to end up inside the base, so therefore the spots inside the base that I can defend get me the best bang for my buck and this will kill the most zombies with them as I can goodbye bastards you're in the way Yeah. Um, I can replace all this wall from outside, can't I? I think so. I just gotta hope that enough of these internal pillars will survive and give me <laughs> a supported roof. I'm just going to add a few extras. Now, is this my exit or am I going to use this one? I think I'm going to use this exit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's fill that in. And maybe just do this as well. There's a bit more support for the roof. Um, there were explosive zombies added in the vanilla game, um, and in Alpha 18 maybe, might have been 17, but I definitely by Alpha 18, and in the Alpha 18 version of Ravenhurst that I played a lot of, I got the explosive zombies. Uh, that is what I am working off in terms of whether there are explosive zombies that can come. Yeah, demolishes. 
So unless Ravenhurst got rid of them, which seems unlikely, um, given the other crazy stuff that Ravenhurst adds in terms of zombies to be difficult, it seems unlikely that they would get rid of Demolishers. Because Demolishers definitely add a considerable degree of difficulty to keeping your base alive. Although, having said that, some aspects of Ravenhurst are built around the idea of, you know, building the thing that Seven Days to Die is actually quite good at. Uh, so it's possible that they got rid of them for that reason. Do -do -do. Make all the walls. Yeah, demolishes a Blood Moon only zombies, yeah. Which, you know, there's some sense to that. It's not much point. <laughs> like, it'd be a bit weird running into a, a point of interest and running into a demolisher. Okay, I think that is all the walls set up. We got 84 spikes for around the base. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that wall looks good. Let's check the front wall. And shiny. Perfect. Didn't think about that. Do I want a roof for my shooting gallery area? Or do I want more bars around the outside for shooting? Hmm. I probably just want to put a roof on this, don't I? Ah, uh, yeah, the tavern is closed. <laughs> the, the entry is non-existent now. Yeah, gambling on the number of vultures I get might not be the smartest idea. I may, I may just want to prep as though there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, okay, shapes. No, not copy shape. Shapes. Let's go with... Yeah, plate. Because I'm gonna... What I'm thinking is, it's probably better with the vultures to actually have mostly solid roof and then open walls. Because then they get down to my eye level and it's a lot easier to shoot them. It's quite hard to shoot them when they're hovering above you. Obviously the downside of this is if I shoot anywhere near these frame sh the the wooden bits they do take significant damage whereas the bars obviously don't I just don't have many bars I've got 19 which is not enough to do the whole uh, cage thing I also can't build a door so I just have to deal with one side of this being open a little bit how much have I edited uh, I haven't edited that much for this. There's a list in the description of the stream that says what I edited. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget the landmines. I just figure they're the last thing I should place. Because <laughs> less likely to explode myself placing other stuff if I place the landmines last. Uh, you can see on the hotbar whether there is a mod in a thing. The little cog symbol that you can see on the pickaxe and on the pistol and on the knife and on the crossbow and on the um, baseball bat, that's a mod symbol. There's no mod on this wooden, on this stone axe.
This should at least keep me... Oh, this is actually this is a good idea. Doing it this way as well, other advantage, it'll keep me dry. Ish. Uh, I'm going to use the bars, I think, on the wall. I think that's my best use for them. Uh, the negative effect to wet, I think, makes you more cold, makes your stamina regenerate more slowly, I think. Or you, you use more stamina doing things. I think it's supposed to have a stamina effect. I'm not sure if it actually does, but I think it's supposed to. Uh, speaking of stamina effects... I'm going to keep the stews for if I need to actually eat during the horde, because... Um, they have very quick ways to get a lot of food and water in me. Uh, that'll do. So if I do this... Place these the way around, and maybe like down at the ground level as well. Uh, maybe that. Uh, actually, yeah. Maybe this can be my way out. <laughs> I'll put. Yeah, that works. Then this. And then I can place my bars around. Hopefully have enough bars to place at least most of these as bars. Oh. Okay, the bars don't copy rotation properly from the other blocks. Four more to go. Perfect. There we go. Got a little safe space. Ish. Obviously there's this hole, but I need a way to get in and out. Uh, how is Charlie doing? Charlie is doing okay. Um, though, she'll be doing hopefully a lot better once I take her to the vet on Wednesday and unfortunately we get her tail shortened. Um, the wound on her tail is not healing very well at all. Uh, when I checked it on Thursday it was all sloppy and a bit not nice. Uh, so we booked into the vet and they'll have a look at it and potentially give her an anaesthetic and shorten her tail on Wednesday. Which I think will make her a much happier dog. Because she is very much not happy at all stuck in the big cone of shame. Um, and an, I think for the speed at which her tail is healing, uh, it would be weeks in that, and then she'll probably just injure it again. <laughs> She's she's getting plenty of love at the moment, but she is yeah she's she's not a happy puppy with the with the cone on. So I think her happiness is best served by getting the vet to shorten her tail, which is all done fully under anaesthetic and everything, so it shouldn't cause her any discomfort, and should hopefully 
keep her from being all sad. Oh, hang on. Uh, do I have... Did I send that photo? I can't remember if I sent that photo in Discord. Let me see if I can find it. There's a very... There's Charlie doing her best impression of a... Of the sad... Um... Where is it? The sad lamp in the intro... T in the Pixar intro. Show that in a sec. Let's just get all the stuff so I can finish this. Uh, for those not familiar, my dog is named Charlie, and my dog has what is known as happy tail syndrome, where she gets so excited and her tail is so long, it acts like a whip, and so the end of it moves very fast and ends up getting injured. And tails being what they are, dogs like to chase them. And so they tend to bite them and lick them and then they never heal and then it's bad. Yeah, trying to not, not only immobilize the tail but Immobilize the yoga dog so that it can't reach its tail. That is epitome of sad dog. That is why I don't want to have her in the, in the cone for any longer than I absolutely have to. Uh... She's she's a lot less sad in the cone now that she's used to it, but that was that was day one. She just did that face and I was like <gasps> No. You poor thing. Alright. Spikes and splody times. Have a safe space. I've just gotta place 84 spikes and three mines. So spikes close to the house, mines further away. Do I have any spot for a mine in there? Hmm. Alright. Land mine. Land mine. They're so not going to come from the direction I put the land mines. I can see it now. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. Let's put them inside the spikes on this side. <laughs> I can see that going very horribly. If I put them outside the spikes, I will almost certainly walk across them. Thinking, oh, yeah, this is the safe space. Uh, Charlie doesn't look like she's tried to catch food with her cone, but she has tried to catch sun rays. I caught her the other day in a position where the cone was just perfectly positioned to catch all of the sun on her face. She squished herself up on the outdoor couch. Um, Alright. Let's get some spikes down. Yeah, the, the zombies don't seem to have a pattern to where they attack. I think even in Ravenhurst, they might... I don't know if this is a vanilla behavior yet, but in Ravenhurst, they... I'm pretty sure will actually vary their attack directions. They don't always 
even in a single Horde Knight, attack from the same direction throughout the Horde Knight. They'll change up their directions. Which I quite like, because it actually means that your defenses get tested from multiple directions, but also means your spikes are more useful, because they'll attack through different sections of these spikes rather than wearing them out really, really quickly. So I prefer the Ravenhurst way. I think it's... It's more interesting and it's more difficult in the ways that are interesting. Uh, oh, whatever. Let's just place these down here. That's the closest landmine. Alright, so now, there is no more deviating from the path. Can I climb back up this? Yeah, I'll be able to climb back up that. Dump. And... Nope. Alright, landmines placed. Uh, any terrain that is 100% impassable? No. I don't think so. Um, I think everything can be broken eventually. And I wouldn't want something that's perfectly impassable, because that would be like cheesy McCheese. To the extreme. Uh, let's ditch that. Don't need those. Not going to chop more trees. I think I'm going to dig more iron. Let's put the fuel in the bike. I just want to make sure I'm not encumbered. Uh, it's 5 p.m. So, I've got a bit of time. Um, I think, given that we've got steel as a potential thing, I think my sensible thing to do would be to go and collect some iron. Though there is a downside to this in that I'm probably going to end up encumbered and... Oh, that's fine. I'll just shove it in one of the garbage bags and hopefully remember to pick it up before we leave in the morning. Assuming I survive that far. Thanks, Firestrack. Uh... So there's a mix of metal and wood spikes. I've got a whole bunch. Uh, the bike's almost full. Still, I think this is the right choice. I think even if I were to forget this and have to come back for it later, I think mining iron uh, in the few hours before the Horde Night when I know I've got steel that I can make uh, is absolutely the right choice. Because I'm going to need so much of this. Uh, Canada, I don't have any other mods running. I've made my own slight modifications to Ravenhurst to fix things that I think for my for the way I play the game didn't make sense. Um, as in forced gameplay down weird paths. I, I suppose the biggest change I've made uh, would be the fact that you can craft uh, flagstone blocks again, and concrete blocks from scratch. You don't have to build up from a basic block and go through all the stages to get to those higher tiers. That's the biggest change I've made. I brought those recipes back. Um, I didn't, I don't think I've done much else. 
that's major. But as I said earlier during the stream, there is a list of the changes I made in the description. And to which files, so you can make the changes yourself as well. Uh, uh, yeah, Dragon Man, the, the Happy Tail thing was just what I found when looking stuff up online. Um, and, oh, oh, no, it was actually my, the dog trainer that was like, yeah, she's that Happy Tail problem. Um, but yes, Whip Tail is very much what Charlie has, has. Tail being so long, the end is just like a whip crack. So it really, really flicks. Like, hard enough that when she's happy, she can leave bruises on your leg. How much iron have I picked up? Oh yeah, I like my good pickaxe. It is good. But yeah. Oh. I could go and spend that point to be able to make that axe that I made. I build the parts of. Um. I'm not sure I want to, though. Wait. Wait a second. There was, um... I was going to get the third level in Motherload and then the rest, the next things were going to be in Fortitude, weren't they? Because I was going to go for living off the land because I want to, I want to farm. Um, that's kind of seven days to die, Jim. <laughs> the idea is to build a base such that the zombies don't wreck it so that you can then build a better base for the next one and have them not wreck that quite so much uh, but yeah it's tower defense it's a tower defense survival game um, the thing that I've always liked about 7 Days to Die was that it gave me a reason to like, it gave me a push to build stuff that was defensive. It gave me a justification for building a castle. Yeah, exactly, Sassink. The, um... Her tail is not likely to heal, sadly, so... With that, with that much force behind it. What's the time? 6.30. Uh, no, I am not going to repair my weapons before the battle. That is a weirdly bad move. Because then they'll overall be lower quality. Uh, so I don't repair anything until it absolutely needs it. Because then I, otherwise they go through their quality too fast and do less damage. Um, like you can see the quality of my tools and weapons on my hotbar saying like 300, 500, whatever. That will significantly drop if I repair it, if I don't have, particularly if I don't have very good skills in that weapon. Um, my pickaxe, if I were to repair it, I'd probably lose maybe 80 levels if I do a full repair, something like that. But on the pistol, I'd probably lose over 100, or at least 100. Uh, and while the repair thing is a these days Ravenhurst specific thing, it was also an Alpha 16 thing. It's how things used to be in seven days.
Uh, one sec while that. My stamina is coming back up. I'm going to quickly fill my water bottle. Because I am thirsty. At least I can actually get a solid amount of iron pretty quickly now. It's painful at those early stages using the stone pick to get all this stuff. Um, Kevin, the new thing in Space Engineers is the Assertive Acquisitions series I've been doing with TFE. Which started two weeks ago. Which has been a lot of fun. Ow! Should be cave-ins. PM. Still got a bit of time. Just gotta make sure I leave myself enough time to actually drop this stuff into storage. Uh, so I think that's tomorrow. So, with my main channel, I am back to a video every Wednesday, a video every Saturday. Um, that's my local time. So, Saturday evenings and Wednesday evenings will be the videos. My hope going forward is that I will do every Wednesday, every Saturday, but you won't necessarily know which series it will be. Uh, as I get other stuff going and potentially have sort of three different types of videos coming out. That's the plan at the moment. Uh... Yeah, nuclear tree rat. Fortunately, the the cone does work in combination with the either her halty, which is like a head harness thing, um, which we don't use for actually walking with her anymore. But um, it works with that. Or we've got a couple of inflatable collars that I just put behind the cone to make sure the cone stays forward. <laughs> Uh, she seems comfortable enough with either of those options. But yeah, the your the thing you were mentioning about the slat collars is uh, certainly a what it would seem to be a very good option for yoga dogs like her. I think that'll do. Still have plenty of time, but. I suspect any time I spend doing this is going to be time wasted because um, what's going to happen shortly is I'll end up so full that when I try and come home in the morning I won't even be able to carry everything so I'll end up dumping something and leaving it behind so it'll be a waste of effort. She is a Great Dane, but she is also an incredibly flexible dog. Well, she's not a Great Dane, she's a Great Dane cross, but um, she's also incredibly flexible. Okay. 
No longer encumbered. Reloaded. Reloaded. Loaded. 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 And backup weapons in place. I've placed down my bedroll, so this is where I currently respawn. I think we're good. Now we just wait. <laughs> Two in-game hours. Uh, yeah, it, with more loot bags hopefully lasting through the night, I'll have loot to pick up, which means I'll end up with extra stuff. That I'll end up having to throw something away and leave it behind, I'm sure. Um, although if I, if I eat these when I remember, that might be helpful. In terms of clearing inventory space. Charlie gets plenty of treats, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Something that has happened with the Cone of Shame is that Charlie has now ended up being a much sookier dog. So she is very much taking advantage whenever I sit down on the outdoor couch because she's not allowed on the couch inside the house but on the outdoor one she's loud so she'll walk up beside me smack me in the head with the cone and then flop down against me and put her head on my lap um which is the thing she didn't she used to do sometimes but not very often now she just does it all the time I'm not sure if it's because she wants to lay on my lap or if because she wants to hit me in the head with the cone. May well be a combo. Alright, think about where the mines are. I am looking forward <laughs> to these exploding. Uh, one thing I'd like to do in the future would be to set up explosive barrels around so I can shoot them and I can trigger them when I want to trigger them. An opportunity to contemplate the choices in life that led you to be standing on top of a cage on top of an old tavern. Yep. How did we get here? Never noticed that was actually quite a pretty sunset looking up that way. Uh, I don't have the... Wait a second. I didn't think I bought another XP boost uh, snacky. What are the ones I got on here? Oh, whoops. Probably should have used that. That's the only one I got. It's quite a, it's quite a nice view up the, up the hill that way. <laughs> yeah, true, right. You're probably right. And <laughs> thanks so much. Oh. Yes, pretty sunset, ominous thunder. It's fitting. See you, Dan. Um, and how did you get on top of a tavern waiting for a horde of zombies? Hmm. What is my backstory? 
I never really think about Seven Days to Die in terms of, uh, like, thinking up a backstory or that sort of thing. Actually, to be honest, even in my more, like, roleplay heavy stuff that I've done with Capac, I haven't really thought about a backstory. I just kind of... I arrive there and then I react. Rather than having some preconceived notion. Hmm. Never really thought about that. I think you mean it's raining cats and house horses. <laughs> if it's raining heavily, that's what it's doing. There is that. There is that element. Planning for Capac is uh, a bit of an oxymoron. You just react to him. Waiting, 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 waiting. I'm really looking forward to the first Horde night I get to do with um, Bruce Bruce and hopefully someone else I can hire. I think it'll be great being able to feel less alone. Even though they're just very hollow NPCs. It's weird how much something small like that makes you feel less alone. I have no doubt that um, Kapak could come up with a backstory quite quickly to anything that he's done. But I also don't think he would have done so before being asked. I think most of the time he just comes up with it on the spot. Uh, as opposed to having any sort of plan. Okay, which direction are they going to come from? Really want them to come from the southeast. Also, I wonder, given their habits of just running straight down a single hole they make, I wonder if they're going to hit any of these landmines. I'm suspicious they're not. Oh well, we'll find out. In nine minutes. Eight minutes. Seven minutes. Six. Ah! Uh, yeah, you sort of can funnel them a little bit with walls and the like. But if they... If they get angry, they just start bashing on the walls instead of parving around them. Although, you can do cheesy maze stuff and things like that. Alright, here we go. It's extra foggy. Oh, here they are. They're already at the wall. Oh, whoa! Jeez. I was not expecting a vulture basically immediately. Usually give me a little bit of time. Oh, 
Okay, we haven't heard any blammos yet. Oh, there's another vulture around. Nope, this guy's up here. Thought he was going to make it up. Okay, I definitely hear a vulture. I didn't bring any of my medicine. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, no, no. That was dumb. During all that prep, I didn't think about medicine at all. I really like that the military zombies are actually a bit more athletic than the rest of them. Like, not spider zombie athletic, but still athletic. Nope, missed. Okay, looks like I'm going inside my cage. Oh, someone got hit by a landmine. Hey, Tumbo! Over this way. Oh, another landmine's gone off! <laughs> now I wish I'd placed one inside the house. Number three. Oh, jeez. I think we got. I think a couple of them went off out here. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Landmines are doing their thing. <laughs> this 100% makes me want to use more landmines. <laughs> They're so much more satisfying than spikes. Obviously, can't place as many, but, you know, and they're more expensive. Ooh! There goes another one. Has anyone been keeping count? Obviously, yeah, the downside of the landmines is they are noisier. And obviously the amount of damage that they do to me if I step on my own isn't quite ideal. Back inside. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, hello. I don't like you being up there. No, no, I do not. Will I get another level? Oh, 
Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I'm so focused. No, I don't have any Molotovs tonight. They're quite expensive to make, and I um didn't think I should make any given the cost. Uh, so I made the landmines instead. Which you know what? I'm happy I did. Wait. Ugh. Typical. Dies to the spikes instead of me killing him. Haven't had as many cops tonight as I did last week. Feel like I've got more zombies in general though. Um, yeah, the Orcs Must Die style traps come if you play uh, Night of the Dead. Uh, which is quite a fun game in its own right, but to me feels like the sort of game you play in smaller chunks. Uh, I'm hoping at some point Capac and I will have a bit more time to go back to that one because it's got it's had some updates since we last played it. And I think we'd have some fun with it again. But yeah, the Orcs Must Die, the physics-based traps are super fun. Yeah, heaps of military zombies tonight. They're so tanky. Oh, she moved. Just as I shot. Uh, okay, you guys need to be shot. A little bit. Oh man, I really need to... Really needed some. Um, oh, there goes another one. Okay, I definitely hear another vulture out there. That's got to be like eight of my. There goes another one of my landmines tonight. They've been a lot more trod upon than I was expecting. Someone just did a flesh exploding thing. Oh, they just... I don't think there are going to be any landmines left. <laughs> I think they've hit most of them. Oh, that guy's dig dug a hole. Yeah, the randomized pathing is such a good feature. Makes traps more interesting. And makes horde knights more fun. I imagine it also makes it a lot more fun in multiplayer because you... You know that people are going to be needed facing every direction because the zombies can move around, can and will move around as the night goes on. Oh, I'd agree, the the Molotovs definitely kill more people. More zombies. Um, but the landmines are cheaper. The 
The Molotovs use both oil and uh, fuel. And I didn't have a lot of either of those. Whoa! Okay, there's a cop. Ow. Birdie. Heard you. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a miss. <laughs> oh, the mines throw zombies into the surrounding traps, do they? Uh, I'm not sure I can make the exploding bolts or not. I think they're a thing. I just can't remember whether I've got the recipe for them. Okay, there really can't be many landmines left now. I'm not sure I'm high level, high enough level for it to throw the horrors at me on a horde night. There are a lot of holes in the walls, though. What's that miss? I don't hear any. Vultures flapping. Oh, flickering light, that's not fun. Oh! His cap remained. Those footsteps. Okay, I can't. I can see one landmine there. I don't see any around here. <laughs> I don't see any around here. I think. I think there's only one left. Yeah, the infection should be fine. I'll um. I'll be able to deal with that easily when I get back to my. When I get back to Bruce Bruce. damage can this building take? Is that guy dead? Nope. Now he is. Cops. Ow. 
Got it. Reload that. No, I'm I'm not seeing um I'm not seeing many loot bags either. I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest. It's like the game's trying to mess with me because I made the loot bags last longer. they could have been destroyed, but I, I haven't seen many of them drop either. Oh. Uh, need to keep an eye on that durability of my crossbow. It's getting low. Um, I've killed, I've killed a decent number, like my levels on I'm halfway to level 45, um, so that's got to be a decent number of kills. But yeah, it is possible I haven't killed quite as many because um, more of them went through the traps to get under the house. Like, under my platform. Compared to me standing on the outside and not many of the traps being able to be used. Definitely changing things. Uh, a little bit longer, and I'll repair this. Oh, geez, two cops. I guess my comment about the lack of cops was possibly premature. And possibly they just didn't make it to me. Inside. Ow! Oh! Jeez, look at the hole that's in there now, thanks to the cops. I'm going to get undermined at this rate. Uh, how many mods did I have on this? One. No. One. All right. Repair. Huh. Uh, yes. Have not seen any radiated zombies... Decent number of ferals, but not many radiated. Or any. I hope I'm still low enough level that that's not a thing yet. I'm kind of glad I haven't seen any demolishers tonight. I'm not sure Moe's could have stood up to them. I think I'm very glad I got my production out of here before this Horde Night because I feel like the damage down there is some of the worst that's happened yet. Or is the worst that's happened yet, actually. Not some of, but he's just downright the worst. <sighs> 
3,160 zombies killed. In just 43 days. Yeah, I am feeling like I've... I'm not going to see many pillars remaining when I get down there. 314, not much longer. And we're through. This is where my longer game days really <laughs> make things tough. They make it easier to loot, but man, do they make it harder to survive the Horde Knight because it just keeps dragging on and on and on. And because my max zombie number is so high, they just swarm. Well, missed. That was a bad shot. Thirty minutes, thirty minutes. I didn't see any dogs. Did anyone notice any dogs? On the bright side, if it collapses, it'll take the zombies too. Will it really? Will like collapsing roofs do damage to them like it does to me? He moved just as I did it. Yeah, I didn't think that'd do too much damage to them. I don't think it's a worthwhile tactic, <laughs> at the very least. Uh, someone stand still so I can shoot you. There's Imhotep. Fifty-three. All right. There's enough wall along the front here. Nah, no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't very close to collapse at all. I reinforced it heavily enough. That's good. And morning time. As I see the last barrel of the night running in. I can't jump back up here. And I didn't bring ladders. But I did bring blocks. Hmm. Without a ladder to get back up, I'm not sure I want to jump down just yet. See if I can hit a few of them inside. Uh, it's not too many ferals. My leg is injured though. That does make me a bit slower. Oh, 
Oh, how did I miss that shot? Shouldn't have missed that shot. There are still so many. <laughs> this is when I need a Molotov. Also, I somehow got a sneak bonus. Couple more headshots. We should be good. Just want to thin the numbers a little bit. Oh, there's this, there's this fast guy. Where is he? It's the one in the blue. Denim Dan over here needs to go. Alright, yep, let's do this. Conga line! Helps if I hit. Oh, thought there was still a feral. Get my bow skill up. I'm not going to lead them to the last landmine. I know what will end up happening. I'll lead myself to the last landmine. I'm not that city. Silly. I don't know what my brain was trying to say then. Oh yeah. Another point archery. And now we're getting all the loot. Toes find that landmine. No! <laughs> I refuse. I will try and find all the loot though. Uh, let's see what we got. Got a fair number of bolts in the ground. Oh, pipe rifle. Meh. Yeah, the the internal walls all got pretty badly smashed up, but my outer walls remained fairly intact. So that wasn't too bad. Um there's still a landmine there. And I think... Yeah, there's still one there. Are there any of the others? Can't see the others. I think 
those are the last two remaining ones. So 11 landmines got trodden on. That's, that's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Uh, I need those so I can get back up and I can grab all the iron and then I can decide which of this stuff I'm going to ditch because I have too much stuff. Um, what is worth less than these things? Don't care about glow sticks. Uh, let's drink. Oh wait, I've got space for that on the bike, so I can ditch that. Um, I can put these arrows over here. Because I'll leave the arrows here for the Horde Knight next time. Um, don't care about that. Wait, can I use that? No. Can I really not use that on my abrasion? Oh, it must be first aid stuff. Cool. I think that's all I need to do. Ah, uh, these are bolts, not arrows. So I don't want to get rid of them. Uh, that's pretty much worked out perfectly. Um, I'm not sure I can pick up my landmines that are here. The reason I'm not sure is that I don't have a land claim block here and I'm wondering if the landmines require you to have a land claim block first. Um, and they changed stuff about the way landmines work in one of the more recent versions. Uh, okay, I've got extra spot. Fine, we'll take the clay. I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Alright. Wait. Alright, if I was going to be able to pick it up, it would be able to be picked up by now. Uh, but yeah, I think there's a... I think... Was there a book you can find that gives you the ability to pick up landmines? Um, like, is it one of those uh, survivor skill book things that you can get? Nope, I'm not hitting it with a pickaxe. I'm not a capac. What I'm hoping is that next time I have landmines, I can have enough of them placed that we can watch the zombies hit them rather than just hearing it. Because uh, while it was fun to hear it, I really want to see them go off. Oh wait, I'll go to the trader and sell a few things first. I've got some stuff I can sell, like that pipe rifle. And then I have a crucible to make.
and then a motorbike to make. Have anything in these? No. Ah, uh, yes, some antibiotics to take would probably be a good idea too. Under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Uh, where's that pipe rifle? Sell you hazmat mask. I should probably keep. Uh, I can sell the helmet. That's probably all I really want to sell. Oh no, wait, that. I want to sell that. Does she have anything good? Steel armor schematic. Tech junkie don't care. Sprains is good. Strains. Yeah. Nothing I want right now. She does have a motorcycle chassis, but I don't quite have. Fifteen thousand dollar dollaritos. You stay safe out there too. Uh, I have not found a military base that I recall the location of. No. Uh, and I suspect most of the military bases are tier 5 anyway, so I wouldn't be able to go into one until I have a full hazmat suit. I don't think just a hazmat hood is going to be enough. Yes, slab ra uh, the wasteland is fully irradiated. I can't go into the wasteland without a full rad suit. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of limited to just sticking to where I'm at, but to be honest, that's not a big deal because I've got heaps of stuff that I haven't looted yet at my current level. Like there's a um, there's a shotgun messiah in this town that I haven't looted even once yet. The one that's right in front of me now. Which may well be something that's... Oh wait, is that a military base right next to it? Or is that a survivalist base? Uh, looks military-esque, doesn't it? Or is it part of the shotgun? I think it might be part of the shotgun Messiah. Oh, it's like a... No, it's... They're overlapping. I see. <laughs> okay, that's a military base. <laughs> Uh, loot does respawn, but I've set it to like 30 days, so for most intents and purposes, it's it's not really a viable thing to loot a place assuming it's going to respawn. Oh, I'm going to be happy when I get off this bike. Oh, is it a shooting range? Yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was like a paintball shooting range type place or whether it was a military base that's intersected it. Yeah, I didn't... I haven't... Ac I'm assuming the um, shotgun messiah is like a level 4, so I'd have to keep doing more missions for Jen. Um, my hope is that once I can build a motorbike, I can get back to this town quickly enough that it's I can still do stuff here I don't have to just do stuff in the desert but with the little moped mini bike thing it's so slow there's no like I'm basically stuck with my current desert town but as I said I think my next big looting target is the Isaiah because if I can get through it I reckon there'll be a whole bunch of random things that I'll pick up there and who knows might even get the final backpacks I need and oh yeah there's vehicle mods as well aren't there let's forget about that 
because I've never actually gotten to the point of modding a vehicle. So I can get better fuel tanks, better speed, all those sorts of things. The Game Master, those uh, blue flames that I went past, they are markers that that is in a radiated POI, which means I can't go into it until I have a full hazmat suit. So that that's a that's a no no can do. Yeah, honestly, I want the 4x4 more than I want the copter. Because it has heaps of storage in it, doesn't it? And having something that is loot storage to me is far more useful. the heck is that? Is that nitrate? Yep. Ah. That'll be all these white spots on the map. Uh, let's head to there. Gunpowder, here we come. Um, there's a military backpack as well. It just costs you 10 backpacks to make. Well, I mean, once you've got your 10, you're just going to be accumulating the other ones that you find. So it's kind of nice that you can do something with the next 10, even if it is, you know, limited uh, value for the cost. But when you're at that point, it doesn't matter. It just gives you a reason to keep seeing them as a positive thing uh, for that bit longer. The diminishing returns, I think, are fine once you're at that stage. Yes, boom boom fuel. Much. Uh, I've looted a lot of the bags around here, so that's why I haven't been bothered stopping at them. Plus, my inventory is full. So, there's, there's no way for me to put the loot. So I've, got, I've got nothing I can do with it. Um, so, there's no point stopping to pick anything up when I've got no room. Just mark this nitrate deposit, assuming it's a nitrate deposit. Then I'll be heading home. And I don't see it. Well... Rats. Okay, fine. It's not a nitrate deposit. Uh, there must be something else that makes those white squares on the map. You're gonna under the tree? Uh, if it's under the... Uh, shouldn't I? Well, it might be under the tree, you're right. Is it that tree? Should be on the far side of this tree. Aha! It is! You are correct. So I'm just marking the ones that are closest to my base. So I need to get rid of... Uh, uh, I need to get rid of the ones that aren't... That I'm not going to use. Because I've got too many mine markers on my map. Make the tree pay for blocking it. <laughs> Eventually will eventually pay for its insolence. 
for this tree. Trees are hiding secrets, they are plotting. Maybe they are the ones sending hordes after you. <laughs> yes, the trees wish not to sacrifice more of their own kind. They've taken to raising the dead humans to send them against me. Almost surprised that's not how it works in Don't Starve to, in Don't Starve, given how dark a lot of the other aspects of that game are. Uh, right, where did I put all my medicine? Also, huh? Turns out I still hadn't sorted stuff. Slightly forgot that. Uh, right, what do I need for the crucible? I need 100 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, 1200 stone, 20 oil, 900 clay soil. Have I got the iron? Uh, I think I do. Yes, I do. Um, okay. I probably got the rest of the bits. I should... Order this up. Uh, mechanical parts. Uh, medicine. Medicine. Medicine is under the toaster. There you go. That should cure me all well and good. Um... 20 mechanical parts, 20 oil, 1200 small stones, and 900 clay. Crucible. Craft. Yay! <laughs> I can get steel! Nice. I don't have a cupboard for all my clothing that I actually want to keep yet. Uh, explosive arrow. What arrows do I have? Exploding arrow. Yes, I do. Uh, steel arrowheads. Ah, so I needed steel before I could get them anyway. Uh, but yeah. For, oh, duct tape per... Oh, okay. Yeah, exploding arrows aren't going to be a thing until I have um, the super corn. <coughs> That's... no. No. Not not till I have super corn. That's too expensive. That's too rich for my tastes. Do that goes back in there. Is that seven six two? No, it's five six six. Good. No, that doesn't go back in there. Goes in the weapons one. Um. <coughs> Should I, I know there is a place to get the super corn, and that's enough for me. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. Um, I do realize I didn't chop up a vulture last night, but I was aware of my limited storage, like my, how much uh, space I had for loot, so I didn't bother with it. I don't need to carry two pickaxes. Let's drop that one off. 
Keep their packets. Pop the gunner packet back. Let's grab the rest of the stuff out of the bike. And then see what it needs for me to make steel. Because I'm wondering if that's where I'm going to have to collect some carbon for. I can go back on board. Actually, maybe the repair kits can go in there too. Take the raw meat. Uh, get rid of that. Just ditch off as much of this stuff as I can. And these can just go in this crate. Oh, this one. Or oh, this one. And then I can wait and decide if I want to use a point for that. Do I have a point? I don't have a point. Crucible. You should be made by now. Yep. Alright, forged steel. Requires carbon. How much carbon have I got and where can I get carbon from? I need like 200 and something. Uh, yeah, something like 200 and something steel for the bike. Actually, that might be enough carbon to last me a little bit. Because it seems like I get. Yeah, that'll get me like 160 steel. That's not too bad. Coal break down into carbon. I don't th think you can break down coal. Yeah, there's no scrapping for coal. But I wonder if that's a fair point. What happens if you put coal in the. Nothing. Okay, coal doesn't work. <laughs> you can't use coal for carbon. I figured as much. I figured I'd have to go and actually mine the carbon which I'm pretty sure I get from just digging well I definitely get it from just digging rock so I'll accumulate some slowly that way but I'm pretty sure I got it there was a spot out in amongst the desert there somewhere with it Uh, I can make charcoal, but I'm pretty confident it won't work as well. So. Let's go and... See if I can find that carbon. So I can find the carbon deposit, that'd be useful. Did I map, did I make a marker of carbon? I did. One of these is carbon. Yeah, real chemistry holds no sway in this world. I think I've mapped all of the main, like, regular tier materials now. Uh, the higher tier stuff is somewhere in the desert, but I, I don't know what's what just yet, because I can't, because I haven't made a steel pickaxe to be able to mine it. Like, there's aluminium out there and tougher stuff as well. Uh, 
Uh, yes, another doom hole for me to ride into. Coming up. Okay. That's annoyingly similar in texture. Bruce Bruce, my capac stand in. Uh, he's as much of a bullet hose as capac, so yeah, that, that's a fair comparison. Fortunately, he doesn't cost me any ammo, even though he sprays it around. If you take a normal corn into an irradiated area, do you get super corn? Uh, I'd almost like it if that was a thing. Okay, how much, how much do I, how much steel do I actually need? Let's go motorbike. Motorcycle chassis takes 150. Handlebars takes 7. So I, I actually do have enough. I've got enough to make a... Make the stuff once, once that carbon's in the forge. Okay, I really can't tell what of this is carbon and what of this is just sand. Yet. I'm sure I'll get better at it, but for now it's, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. Yeah. It <laughs> it is not it is not particularly apparent. I'm glad I'm not the only one struggling with it. I think because it's having an impact on the voxels around it, such that it's unclear which one is the one that's having the impact. The little known and rare brown carbon. Well, there is brown coal, so... Like, that's a real thing. Although, I don't know if that's just called brown coal or if it's actually brown coal. It's actually brown in colour. That's the, I'm stopping there. 31 carbon, that's another 31 steel. We'll deal with this later. I'd much rather get this crucible up and maybe see if I can go to the trader in town. Oh, nope. We're going for a drop. There it is. Drop time! Okay, it is half. Yeah, I thought it, I figured it was brown, but I just didn't want to assume it and, you know, do the thing that assuming does to you. What am I going to get in the drop? More cloth armor that's perfectly pointless. Oh, at some point when I go back to that other village, the other town, I need to actually finish digging up the treasure that I started digging up. So I never did finish that. Okay, here we go.
Oh, missed. Shouldn't have hip-fired hip that one. Thank you for my bolts back before you even collapsed. There we go. What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? Uh, oh, yes! More cobblestone cubes! Yes! And a food bundle. Nice. Don't care about the bicycle handlebars, but that is, that is awesome. Love that. That is going to be so useful for my walls. Hey, buddy. Yes, hey Fred, let's fuel a massive plane in a post-apocalyptic world. Not to save people, mind you. But just drop single death trap crate with exactly six items in it. Please give me bones. They do. That that is actually a super good haul. What's in the food bit? Sham tacos. Fancy. And yet not. Ah, let's go stabby stabby on some... Let's kill some wandering horde. Or, you know, miss and walk into a cactus. And walk into a cactus again. Uh, where am I at in my archery skill? 56. Oh, I need four more levels. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not fussed about the coal or carbon nodes because I've, I've got ones close to base. So I'll, I'm only dealing with those ones. I'd rather dig a big hole near base and have a properly accessible mine than fuss about with surface nodes. Ah, uh, yes, I have seen the repeater crossbow. I have used it once before. I like it. I think I'm a fair way from it, unfortunately. Ooh, I need to remember to replace my bedroll. So my respawn is set back at my proper base, rather than Moe's. Must do that as soon as I get back now. Uh, por que no las dos? Crazy Canuck? <laughs> I think it's probably both of those things. <laughs> oh, my dear. I should have processed enough carbon to probably get enough steel. I wonder how quickly it'll come out. I'll jump high enough while I'm reloading. Bedroll sorted. Let's make some forged steel. 153 of it. Yes, I have enough. Is awesome. How long is that going to take? Half an hour. Right. Let's make sure there's enough fuel for that then. 
Uh, drop off the rest of this stuff, and then I think... We can probably get a tier one mission done for the trader in town, I reckon. 634 plus 400. Yes, I can do a double thick wall very soon. Let me ditch things. Forgot to put the extra coal in. I mean carbon. I said coal, but I meant carbon. Alright, what can I sell? Uh, I'll take those to the trader and see if I can sell off their component tree. I'll take... not that. That, that, that. And... See if the trader around here will buy some of these things. Oh, the hazmat gloves. Okay, I've got two parts of my hazmat suit. Silver nuggets. Diamond. BDU top. Alright, that'll do. And I'll bring that so I've got the money. Have a quick drink. Have a quick bite. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. That's probably just enough time to do a very easy loot. Let's go. Yep, the steel is for the motorbike. Uh, I actually don't necessarily want steel tools yet. The reason I don't want steel tools yet is steel tools use massive amounts of stamina. Um, and because I don't have my stamina skills particularly high at this stage, I'm actually better off using um, tools that my stamina doesn't fully deplete. Like, I can almost mine indefinitely. Not quite, but I'm getting close to being able to mine indefinitely with iron tools. So there's a safety margin in using those rather than using steel tools. Um, while I get more per hit with a steel tool, the fact that the iron tools leave me less likely to completely run out of stamina, but also um, still get good results means that I'm actually not 100% sure that with the stamina regen time included that steel tools are actually better. Uh, no, there's. I think they got rid of the mechanics station thing. Uh, motorcycle. Oh no, mechanic workbench. What do I need for a mechanic workbench? Oh yeah, I can do that. That's doable. Just need 250 iron. It's quite doable. Ah. Ow! Jerk. Uh, I am day 43, which puts this save at, like, 60-something hours in. Uh... So it's a fair while. Oh, green dude. What the? F it's clipping into me. They won't let you. Shh. 
Stabby! Stab! Stab! Stabaroo! And away we go. Uh, yeah, it kind of has worked out to be close to one level a day. It won't stay that way. I'm. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be less than a level a day for the coming levels because it's uh, a bit of a logarithmic scale. Each uh, each new level takes more and more points to get to. Uh, that's... Yeah, Silver Comet, that's kind of the Ravenhurst thing. There are... <coughs> the game... plays a lot longer. Because it takes you a lot longer to progress. Uh, meaning that you end up... feeling like you're still... early game, for want of a better term. Even when you've been playing already for ages. Which is what I like about it. I like that slower progression. Another one? Really? to go to that um to one of these shotgun messiahs see if i can get myself another gun Although i wonder if savage country has some good stuff maybe i should loot some of these shops isaiah yeah isaiah should have some good stuff uh, but maybe i should loot some of these shops after it rather than just go in the houses I know I was doing the houses on purpose because it was getting me the backpacks, but I've got most of the ones I need now. I see you, jerkbird. I'll deal with you in a second. Where'd you go? Where'd the bird go? Oh! Ow! Sneak attack! Hope. Click the wrong button. Oh, getting some bones anyway. And another jackbird. Now, hello, jiggle physics. do was go to the trader get a mission but no you guys had to be annoying you still hanging around um no oh. this guy's building is not gonna last long Okay, those don't sell. Oh wait. Best be on your way. 
Uh, saw that. Well, it's about time you bought something. You gonna let me sell these? Yes. Good luck with that. What about these ones? Will you buy more? Yay! Alright, give me a mission. So bad after all. Uh sure, give me a fetch quest. I mean, I'll close his door, but I don't think it's going to matter. This place is not very well fortified. Yeah, timed it. Give me your bones. I mean, <laughs> at least the mini bike's a good way to get to farm bones for glue. Because <laughs> every single vulture that's around comes after me because my mini bike's damaged. So I guess there's that. Uh, how many bones did I collect? 45, that's not bad. Aha, uh -huh, it is this house. Yeah. Level up. Uh, yeah. I'm just looting it. I'm just doing the quest. I'm not going to bother with the double loot. So we're here just for the quests. Probably should have looted the mailbox because it can have skill books in it though. That's not what I want to see when I open a door. The couch. Yeah. Yes, that feels so good when I get a feral with my crossbow. Yeah, the whole having to make complete bones to then turn them into glue is weird. Um, and I think the game, I think... If it were me, I would just do away with the bone fragments or the bones. Having both just doesn't seem to add anything meaningful to the gameplay. All it does is delay you from being able to make glue. And there are other ways to do that. There is a spider zombie around here somewhere. And I just work some people up. Like that cop. Holy moly. And this feral. Alright, you horrible creatures. Reload that stupid crossbow. Got him. Alright, cops down. Let's deal with the rest of these guys. Helps if I actually hit. Oh, 
lost so much. Gah. Um, <laughs> I mean, yes, padding out time is useful in some circumstances, but it's the way you do it. There are interesting ways to add grind, and there are grindy ways to add grind. Ow. Mistimed my charge on her. Ha! Yeah, it's probably best not to ask questions about how zombies bleed. And why that matters to them. There's a dog around here somewhere. Ooh, grenade schematic. The dog is upset upstairs, <laughs> I think. Yep. That is definitely an upstairs dog. Wasteland treasures. Acid is extremely... I figured out this tip to sometimes harvest a little from cars and... Yes! Yes, that's useful. That's very useful. That, however, is not. Robotic sledges suck. <laughs> They're so pointless. That's just a block. Yeah, it is. I couldn't figure out how to make any... Like, get any real use out of a robotic sledge. Uh, I know I should be trying to get into the roof, but I don't see a way up there. Yet. I figure for the small chance of finding a backpack, I should search this stuff. Oh, it's totally a zombie dog that's up there. Ooh, shot come the sire crate. Nice. get up there. There was the hatch, but how do you get up to the hatch? Hmm. Let's try this. Doggo, doggo, doggo. Where are you? What? Where's the dog? I thought it was up here. Huh? I'm so confused. Some of the dogs down on the ground level? Also, I didn't get the actual pickup thing, did I? Whoops. That 
that would help. <laughs> yep, downstairs, doggo. Look back. Alright, let's go back to the trader. I think I'm done here. It's getting on in the day. Got a few things to sell off. Can complete one quest for this guy. Are there doggo NPCs? Uh, I hope not. I really hope not. I, I'm not quite sure how you would hire a dog NPC. Um, I don't think you can... Yeah. I also hope not because... I don't like having dog NPCs in games because... Then I'm always really sad when they die. And I never actually use them to protect myself because I don't want them to die. <laughs> so they're, they're the most useless Something things in games die. ever for you me. Think you're pretty hot shit now. Um. So I'll honor our agreement. Five five six ammo. Shotgun choke mod, cooling mesh mod. I'll take the ammo. So I've already got the Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume Five. Oh, I can get both. I'll sell that off. Cooling mesh. Uh, mm, I'll take that. I'm in the desert. Sell taco recipe. Sell chemistry station recipe. Sell dead pants. Sell the ski goggles. Sell the cowboy boots. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, you could buy that then, fine. Uh, anything else? No. Do you have anything I want to buy now that I've got over 5,000? Pistol Pete. Night Stalker. And some Forged Steel. Eh, not so much. Let's just have a look at the rest of the stuff, see if something pops out at me. Molotovs, maybe? Timed charges. Maybe those are like the mining charges that I was talking about. Maybe they'll do lots of block damage. No, nothing too exciting. Alright, I'll be back in just a moment. I need to take a quick bio break. And then we'll continue. And I'm back. Night Stalker, five percent extra damage on Horde. Like, was that what that was? I didn't actually read what he, what that Night Stalker book was. 
Bows do. Oh! Yes, bye. <laughs> Thank you for highlighting that. Uh, that is actually really good. Bows do 5% more damage at night. That is very nice. Uh, those are not vending machines. Yeah, 7 p.m. I think it's time to get on home. Why don't I break down a car while I'm here? Also, I see that pig over there. I might try and get it. That was a crowbar. Also, now that I can make steel, I can make my machete without fear. Yes. Because I don't have to feel like I'm wasting my limited supply of steel. And with a machete, I will get rid of my baseball bat. Yes. Can't let me carve up my kill in peace. Oh, missed. Dang it. Uh, yeah, Talzoid, you were correct. I did miss that, so thank you. And that is why, <laughs> despite some of the downsides to it, I I try not to discourage uh, backseat gaming because sometimes it's really useful. Uh, now, crowbar. I think it's still the better way to take, a take apart cars. Uh, yes, it is. As I just got a few parts that I definitely didn't get with the wrench. Trunk lid. Door. Nice. Um, yeah, let's break a bunch of cars as I go home. Maybe not all these ones with all these people around, though. Too many zombos. <laughs> yeah, Talzoid. Uh, yeah, it's always a balance with these things. Uh, Tom, Charlie's tail is um, likely to get a bit shorter on Wednesday. Because uh, it needs to. Uh, I was talking about that earlier. Uh, She'll be happy a doggo when she's not injuring herself, so it's a good thing. I did find a way to wrap it, but it's just not healing quickly enough, and she's very unhappy as she is. Spark plugs. Oh, I should make a cement mixer too. There's so many things I need to make. So I've got so much stuff now. <laughs> I wonder if she'll chase a fan tail. Well, it's... it. The vet implied that she thought she'd probably end up having to take off like 10 to 15 centimeters of it uh, based on where the wound is and that sort of thing. Um, I wonder if that's enough or if we're going to just be ending up taking her back for another but then also I don't want to take off too much if it's not needed. So I'll just go with whatever the vet decides is right. Um, allow the expert to guide me on this one. I am not an expert, so I will defer to greater knowledge. Oh! Hello! Oh! Oh, no! Okay, she's bad. 
She's not friendly. But the nurse ratchet is. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of glad to be rid of her. She was annoying. Ratchet, how much do you cost? Oh, do I have enough money for you? 2,800. Hey, Ratchet! Ratchet! Come back here. I want to hire you. Nan. I'm interested in hiring you. Accept. Yeah! I got another friendo! I think Harley's a raider. Alright, she should just teleport with me if I ride home now. I'm out of field. Whoops. People did warn me to look at my fuel levels. So I have Bruce Bruce and Nan. Ow. Oh, I don't want to stab her! Okay, she got it. Let's go. Yeah, that was very much Harlequin. <sighs> Go away from me, bird. Let me get home. Ow. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this should be fine. Well, I missed. Let's go. Yay, Bruce Bruce has a friend. I'm still going to call her Ratchet because Nan's just weird. Oh, I wonder if I can rename them. Hmm. Nan Nan. <laughs> yes. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I can rename them. Uh, yes. Agreed. She did look a bit too young to be a Nan. That's cool. I've got I got two little friend helpers with unlimited ammo. Now I really need to build a tower for each of them. So they can be on base defense. I'm also at that point where I'm like, should I... I need to be pushing towards getting an electrical grid set up so I've got lights, all this sort of stuff. I'm... I've kind of... I've reached that point of seven days where I'm no longer limited by what stuff I have. Uh, sorry, what skills I have. I'm just limited by time. Okay. You guard here. Yay. Yay! Yeah, no. Stay here. Look at that. Oh, she is Nan Nan. Nan Nan. Nan Nan and Bruce Bruce. Which I need to do this too, because I want. Uh, seven days. Because I can't actually um, screenshot, because I don't have the uh, Steam overlay. Okay. Um. Oh, did. Oh no, that was the extra fuel left over. So, we should have enough steel now. Next up, I need to get some more iron. So let's put a bunch of iron in this, because that's an easier way for me to get forged iron. Cricket too. Uh, 
because I need to make the mechanical bench. 250 forged iron. That takes a while. <laughs> Another Nanan and you can have Batman. <laughs> uh, I probably laughed more at that than I should have, but that's still funny. I liked it. Uh, let's try and get the food out of these. Do a little bit of sorting. I've got to do a little bit of sorting now while I'm waiting for some stuff to happen. I need another two nanans for that. Nanan, nanan, nanan. Nanan, 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 nanan. But I don't know. Need some. Uh, these can allow me to make more fuel, which is good. I was running low on the old fuel canisters. Throw this fuel in there for now. This was my... This was meant to be my, like, vehicle parts thing. What is that vehicle? Motor tool. Yeah. And this is mods. Let's put that away. Too much stuff everywhere. There is a zombie outside. There are many zombies outside. Jerk! Sure, you stop moving the moment I reload. others out there? Yeah, I do need those towers, don't I? And I need a walkable wall, like a proper walkable wall. <laughs> Probably four more, but that just gets really good. True. Uh... Ammo munitions. Let's put you away. Grumsticks of junk. Have you processed enough that you're going to be able to make... There we go, 54 of those. Can I make some forged iron here? Yeah, let's do it. So I need 250, so that's a lot. Uh, which means let's put more of this in with some more clay. <laughs> with a railing. Fine, with a railing. I might put a railing up. Or machiculations. I could put those in, maybe. How are we looking? We've got 111. I need 25 screws, 15 electric wires. Oh, do I have enough electric? Yeah, I do. I've got plenty of those parts. I just need the forged iron. Oh, 
Are you able to set them to patrol along the walkable wall? I think so. I think so. Um... Because that would be pretty cool, having them actually wandering back and forth along the walls. Uh, just going round and round and round. Or making each one patrol along a single side. Like, I, I think that would be kind of fun, seeing them do that. Alright, what should I be doing while that's processing? I should be eating. Especially if I can find two more. Like, if I had four of them and one's patrolling each wall, that'd be pretty awesome. As long as I can properly protect said walls for them during the Horde night. Now... Don't think I'm going to put my point into mining tool crafting. But I may want the Iron Axe. I'm not sure. I was supposed to be saving up points for this so that I can get this to level 3. Uh... Yeah, I'll do it. Let's get Fortitude up. Let's get living off the land. That's what we we're planning for. No, I should unlock motorbike. I am trying to craft motorbike. Wait, do I do I somehow have the recipe for motorcycle yet? No, I haven't. Okay, I do need to unlock that. Okay, good. <laughs> I almost made a really big mistake. You can craft motorcycle parts. Oh, I can craft oil. That is a really creepy noise. Thanks for that. Uh. Oh. One more level and I can get the truck. I think I want the bike first though. Right? Yeah, we'll go the bike. Um, uh, seventy. Okay, we're up to two hundred. Why does Nan Nan's name keep showing up? Is it because she's injured? Why is Bruce's name not showing up? <laughs> Weird. All right, I might as well do some sorting while I'm waiting. While I'm waiting. Food, food, food. Uh, food, food, drink, food, food. <laughs> food, food, drink. Mm, mayonnaise. Apocalyptic mayonnaise. Just what you always wanted. Let's just pop that over here because that will remind me to sell it. Hopefully. Um, the sounds are just a Ravenhurst thing that they like to have in there for reasons. Arguably not good ones, but there there are reasons. They have them. Um, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is not a drink. Let's put it in the food one. Some people may argue my assertion there that mayonnaise is not a drink, but I would question their choices if they consider mayonnaise to be a drink. One of the voices sounds so strange. The trees are just now learning to speak telepathically. <laughs> Not 
much more. Uh, there. Let's get my medicines. No medicines in there. Uh, no medicines in there either. Oh, there, there is. There, there, there. There's some howly winds tonight. Alright. If your mayonnaise is loose enough to drink, then it's probably not safe to consume. Perhaps. That's probably a valid point. <laughs> Thanks, Hamby. You can drink mayonnaise, but I would call it an oil and egg smoothie. Doesn't that just make it sound delectable? An oil and egg smoothie. Mm -mm. Part of this nutritious breakfast. All right, mechanical bench. Here we go. Being made. Put those away. Uh... <laughs> Let's get all my farming stuff out of here. Wait, that was a farming thing. Farming. Farming, farming, farming. This is why it takes me so long to sort, and this is why I do the sorting off stream. Because um, much as... I'm sure this is delightful, and I'm sure some people do actually enjoy seeing this stuff get sorted rather than... <laughs> constantly wondering whether I've just got a pile of junk everywhere. Uh takes me time and I have to I have to really focus to be able to sort right, press that's farming related ah uh, yes I'm still doing the double anvil ding machine I decided that I don't feel bad about it so I'm sticking with it Uh, how long ago? Another minute. Uh, I've my space for the uh, vehicle workbench was going to be here next to the vehicle box with vehicle stuff. Speaking of vehicle stuff. Have we got any vehicle stuff here? Uh, let's just grab a bunch of these things that I know will go into the other storage thing. Alright, let's start. Here we have all our vehicle bits. And over here we have more acid. And down here we have more brass. And then arrows. And we should have a mechanics bench. Ta da! Alright, uh, let's grab our steel. And see what parts I needed for the chassis. Motorcycle chassis. 
30 mechanical parts, a... Oh. Poop. Haven't managed to get the car radiator flat or the car seat upright. You can't make those. Well, there go my plans. I guess I have to go around and break down cars. No, I forgot to look at those bits. Uh, anything special for the handlebars? Can I just make them? And I'm betting I have to find one of these tools uh, to make the bikes, to make the more advanced stuff. Uh... Will the building process continue or... Uh, I should be able to continue building. I shouldn't get any nasty visitors tonight. Uh, mechanical parts, duct tape, headlight, electrical parts. Electrical parts, mechanical parts, duct tape, headlight. Forged steel. Craft. There we go. One part done. And then I just need to break, go around breaking down more cars with the crowbar, which is fine. Uh, let's see if I can make up some more fuel. Can make up one. And breaking down more cars, I'll be able to make myself some more fuel, which is good. Uh, let's get more bone fragments made into bones. Yeah, it's... it's. I've never actually made the motorbike, but I've seen the motorbike in the game. Um, it's a big honking bike. Right, I'm just going to grab everything out now, and I'm going to sort this stuff properly. While we wait for morning. Uh, but I'm going to put my hazmat suit up here where I wanted to keep it safe with my other things I want to keep safe. Where's my hazmat hood? Am I blind? Where's my hood? I thought I had my hood. Where'd my hood go? There it is. There we go. Motorbike, now with cow catcher. Yeah, yeah, that is a pretty good description of what the motorbike ends up looking like. It is a motorbike with a cow catcher. I'm just waiting for the um, inevitable screamer horde that's going to spawn because of my forges running all the time. In Ravenhurst, you have options when you want to make a motorbike or other vehicle. You do? Pretty sure you still have to find stuff the same way. I thought. Thought I did anyway. Coal goes over here. We're one fifty in the morning. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Fifty seven. That's pretty good. Like, today, I managed to get through the Horde Night, and I got Nan-Nan. 
I could go around placing the double walls, I suppose. But I might be able to reach down overnight. Maybe. Uh, these need to go in the ammo box now because they're part of my munitions creations. Get rid of that grub stick and pop the... There we go. All right. Let's see if I can reach down and place these blocks. So it wouldn't be bad to get the double wall, double thick wall placed. And I don't seem to have had a zombie inside the boundary since I've shifted and brought it closer. Yeah, I can place it. Let's do it. Extra wall. <laughs> Could be a dodge tomahawk with the V10 from the Dodge Viper. That thing's ridiculous. I know what you're talking about. That thing is ridiculous. Uh, I think there were plenty of places in the middle of town that had lots of cars around, so I should just basically head straight in there, grab cars, and see if I can get the bits. Because as soon as I get them, I really want to check out the bike. I'm not sure I'm going to get time to do that before uh, probably dying to Capac again in June. Yeah, I probably won't have enough blocks to get all the way around, but it makes me feel a lot more reassured having a double thick wall. Not the least because I think then I can possibly even put um, Bruce Bruce and Nan Nan up on the wall. Uh, our planned start time for June today was 10.30, which is in 35 minutes. So what I will probably do is keep doing this um, and break down as many cars as I can. If we manage to find the bits, great. If we don't, I'll probably try and break down a few more cars off stream and then come back to it and build it next week. That would be my plan. I love that I'm doubling up the bit of wall that doesn't actually need doubling up yet. See you, crazy Canuck. So I do wonder if I should have just done this on the inner side of the wall rather than the outer, but we're done now. Um, I'm going to go in or along this wall. Let's shrink things a little bit. Save some resources. This base is plenty big enough as it is. Two fifty-eight. I should try and get going before it hits daylight. Also, if I'm doing it on the inside, let's do it from the ground. Oh, actually, no, let's not. Um, downside of doing this from the ground is that it increases the chance of me misplacing blocks. The weird grass placement impacts don't seem to be as dramatic when I'm overhead. This is safer. Alright, it's 308. Let's go. 
stitch these things. Let's get fed and watered. And I forgot. That's unpleasant. I forgot to make my um, my weapon. Where is it? Where am I? There it is. What does the machete take to make? Sturdy handle, which I have in here. Yes. Leather duct tape twine. Leather twine duct tape. Craft. So now there is zero reason not to make that. Grab my fuel. Turn you off because you're not doing anything. Alright. Feeling good. Where's all the welding of the blocks? What welding of what blocks? <laughs> we don't have no magical welders here. Just instant existence magic. Yeah, it took me a second, but I got there, Benji. <laughs> Possibly enough food. Eh, let's drink one of these. I got my machete. Machete! Yeah. What's the tempered blade mod do? Increases block damage by 10% and lowers degradation by 15. Ah, nice. So this does melee damage of 27. This does a lot less. Oh, yeah. Uh, so let's ditch that and let's ditch that. And now we have more room on our hotbar. I don't have any primitive, primitive repair kits. Ditch that. Put that there. That there. I could bring another gun. Hammerby, I think I'd get punched in the face if I did that. Deservedly so. I did a dum dum. I don't have a way to get back on. Uh, dang it. I have to break one of my wall blocks. Forgot to bring my building blocks for my ladder on the outside. Might have been able to climb the rock on the other side, I'm not sure. Alrighty, let's find some cars. Also, there is a capac awake, so let's join the team speak. If he joins at some point. Yeah, that I think that rock is maybe climbable, but I think it'd probably take longer than just breaking the wall. Like I did. And I need to break that wall eventually anyway. Alright, 
There's a couple of cars here at the bar. Let's get them first. Well, there's quite a few cars here. mod in the cosmetic slot. Is that actually a thing it lets you do? That's a bit jank. <laughs> doom hole, doom hole, doom hole, doom hole. Darn. Hey. I feel like I don't get as many good things from these um, servers truck from this service truck as I was getting from the cars. Also, what does this take to repair? Advanced repair kit. Oof. I might break down the service truck with um, the ranch and cars, proper cars with the crowbar, because I don't think these service trucks have the added components. That's the impression I get. Also, I'm wondering if I need to just break down f more intact cars. I don't think you can... Can I make crowbars at all? No, you can't make crowbars. You have to find them. But I can make the advanced repair kit to repair it, at least. Yeah, Naomi, I totally agree with you on that one. The crowbar is a weird thing. It should be, like, instead of the crowbar being the way you break down complex cars for more advanced stuff, it should have been something like a socket set. Some sort of finesse, some sort of tool that has finesse to it. And that would actually require advanced manufacturing to be able to put together a decent set of. Uh, before I go into town, I'm actually going to ride back and pick up my advanced repair kit. Oh yeah, an angle grinder could also be an, a, a valid option. Or an impact wrench, yeah. I guess I can't really take advantage of that cheesiness of being able to put upgrade proper mods in cosmetic slots because I don't actually have that many mods. Advanced repair kit. Must not break crowbar. Must find fully intact vehicles to break with crowbar. Um... Doesn't look like it's got an impact wrench. Impact driver. It has, yeah.
Using a crowbar on cars nets you more complex parts, so I still need to use the crowbar anyway. Just, yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, well. Hey, Eisen. Hey, Zyf. Oh, yeah, I probably do have stuff to put on my pistol and things. I'm really bad in games like this at actually sitting down and checking out what upgrades I've got for a weapon and things like that, because I kind of get bored looking at all the different options. I just kind of pick one and move on. Uh, it's normally Kapak who spends all the time fiddling and faffing with that stuff. It's not normally a me thing. <laughs> Aha. Here's an intact car. Give me a car seat and... What was the other thing? Radiator. Car seat and a radiator are what I need. Car seat! Bad guy! Oh, yes. It's going to be fun. So I got the car seat. I have not got the radiator as yet. Oh, my knifing skills are going to get so good. Figured while I was here, I should get that. Uh, none of these... I think I need to go and find the... Oh, maybe radiators are at this level of... Hmm. Maybe it's this level of car will give me a radiator, possibly. Oh yeah, there's the... Hmm. I feel like that level of car gives me nothing, because the engine's gone from inside there. Whoa, 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 what has happened? <laughs> the knuckle spikes are a nice touch. They are indeed. There's going to be a lot more dismemberment with this. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go find another intact car. Will I find one? At least I found one of the two pieces I actually need. Why do I feel that if Splitzy was in John Wick, he would be one of the cleaners? That fan's useless. I have to fix the crowbar before it breaks. Oh, there's an intact car. Uh, which means I should probably 
err on the safe side and repair it sooner rather than later. Uh, whereas I normally try and wait it out. I might repair it before it gets down to showing no bar at the bottom. But it's got enough at the moment. Was that the flat radio? I don't think so. I think it was a car boot. A bonnet lid. Yeah, trunk flat lid. Car hood flat. Right, now it's time to repair it. Not willing to risk it going any further. Being steel, the machete has a okay-ish durability. Uh, that's a brass radiator, not a car radiator. Oh, car radiator flat. I got one. I got all the bits. Let's head home. Yes. Yes. This terrible little mini bike. No more shall I look like this. Oh, I kind of want a screenshot of this. Except in the sun. There we go, that's what I wanted. Oop. Don't mind me. <laughs> I've started doing screenshot. I think I'm going to try and do screenshots for the thumbnails, so I want to try and get some screenshots. Um, and I don't know what, if any, the key is for in-game screenshots in 7 Days to Die when you don't have the Steam overlay. Uh, like in Space Engineers, F4 gives you a screenshot, but I don't know what it, what key that might be in 7 Days to Die. So I have to do like the snip tool with Windows. <laughs> you can let Capac have the minibike if he joins you. Yeah, I don't think that'd last long. F11. Ah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a good biker, I'll have you know. You're a good biker? Yep. No, you're not. You're, you're a decent driver, but you're not a good biker. I'm a brilliant biker. But what people were more suggesting was that I should keep the good motorbike for me and give you the mini bike if you ever join me in this. Which I didn't think would last for very long before you stole my good bike. Uh, I see you've added a new person to your collection. Yes, I've got Nan Nan and Bruce Bruce. Hey, Bruce, Nan. But sometimes then when the names show up above their heads, it says Nan Nan and Bruce Bruce. 
Uh, bike, bike. That's what I need to make. Hmm. Yes. You look a bit weird. I do. How so? Yeah. Is it? Oh, they look a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're a bit janky. They're not the greatest models, are they? And they don't really stand very naturally. Uh, what am I lacking? Mechanical parts. Uh, I just want to get see how long this takes to make. Craft. And then... What? I can make helicopter blades? Anyway. I see you've filled out the barn a bit. I have. I have. It is now... Um, it now has adequate storage. It's got a few bits and it's got all the different things that I need. I've got two workbenches. I've planned out where my house is going to go. I brought the south wall up a bit closer because the zombies were spawning inside the fence, which is obviously not ideal. Um, yeah, things are going all right. And I've moved all of my production here now. You got a farm going? I do. What's that box thing over there? Box thing over where? Uh, it's just like a row of blocks along the ground. The stuff along here outside? Because remember the YouTube lag? Yeah, yeah, there's quite a delay. Yeah, that big rectangular layout on the ground. Oh, that's the house layout. I see. Oh, right, because you're getting my voice early. You wouldn't have known what I was looking at when I said that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Uh, where is it? Do I assemble? Where do I assemble the motorbike? How do I assemble the motorbike? Shadow Star, I can do a uh, reasonable impersonation of the Martians from Mars Attacks, but I try not to because it's very annoying. You avoiding being annoying? Well, I never. Is that a challenge? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, I want my bike. Uh, I want to see how much storage this thing has. And how much left have you got to finish it? Uh, 30 seconds. Then you have all the bits. I've got all the bits. Then it's made and I can place it. Uh. Make junkers. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different bikes and stuff I can make. But they would require different chassis, which I don't have. Ooh, so golf we have cart. our motorbike. <clears throat> which is apparently green. Although I suspect once it's placed, it won't be. Oh, yeah. What's the storage capacity? It's a bit better. Takes a lot more fuel, though. Oh. Oh, the speed! <laughs> this isn't even with sprint on. This is just normal. Oh, that's so much better. I am very happy. Cool. Uh, well, what I might do before next week is I'll go and place down the rest of the wall blocks, the doubling up that I started. Um, maybe do a bit of organization. That side of things. Actually, no, nah, no, I won't. I'm just going to come back to this next week. 
at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, for those of you who are keen, come join us over on Twitch, where Kabak, myself, TFE, and Malwin will be playing 1v1v1v1 in some more Dune. Uh, ah. Yes, and then tomorrow over on Twitch, Kapak and I will probably be back for some more plate up and then raft with DE and Nab. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I, Nan Nan, Bruce Bruce, we'll see you then. Stay up.